Hi everybody, my name is Samantha Dodson and this is my Make It Better product review for ENT 601. And before I get started, I want to send a big thank you to Barbara Hall for inspiring this particular product review. Barbara's review was on latex cleaning gloves made by Playtex. And I personally have a latex allergy which prevents me from using those cleaning gloves. I developed that allergy after working in the healthcare field and having an overexposure to latex. So I had to quickly learn to adapt and use the alternatives. In the healthcare field, that means I was given nitrile gloves and vinyl gloves. Now, coming out of the healthcare field, you still use the same alternatives. The difference is that they're a different grade what you get when you go to Walmart or go to uh, different stores trying to find things to use in your home. So it's a different grade than what your doctor's office would use. So what I did was I went to Walmart, which is where most people are going to go to buy these things uh, that they're going to be needing to clean. You can also find gloves, of course, anywhere that you would be able to find the latex gloves. They now offer alternatives. They'll just be different brands. But the brand that I found is called Clean Ones, and it is offered by Walmart. You can also buy them on Amazon. And they come in packages of 12 gloves, which is six pair. This is the package for the vinyl gloves. They're about $1.78 a piece, or not for the gloves, but a package, which is pretty inexpensive for disposable gloves. Uh, there are one size fits all, which is a little bit of a downside. Uh, you know, again, that's one of the things that, that varies. Uh, they do have a rating down here, uh, which this one actually has a rating for household cleaning, food preparation, and for arts and crafts. So we're going to look at how they hold up to those things. The nitrile gloves I also managed to get in the, the Clean Ones brand. They're also one size fits all. And their rating is actually for gardening, household repairs, and painting. And now I can say I've used these outside of the healthcare field, both of them. So I'll give you a little bit of information about these, just a few tips and warnings in addition to the review. Uh, but mainly we're going to be focusing on a comparison between these two because what I did was I bought these packages. They're the same price, $1.78 per package. And then I ran them through the gauntlet of doing dishes, scrubbing the kitchen, and scrubbing the bathroom. And I was alternating between the two gloves throughout the events and seeing how they held up. So I'll give you a few pointers on those. Uh, but first I want to look at comparing the gloves themselves. So we're going to start with the vinyl glove. Now the vinyl glove, as you can see, it's pretty thin. Uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but it, it's pretty flimsy. Uh, but it does stretch, so it's forgiving. Uh, I wear a size small glove and when I put this glove on even without the rings it's still a size small glove so just letting you know that the rings are not making the difference here this glove is very snug you know, there's not any give when I, I close my hand and that's something that is is important when looking at gloves uh, for this because when you're scrubbing they don't give that much you have a little bit of give but not a whole lot and even though these stretch I have fingernails so I put them through the gauntlet I made it through half of a dish and managed to rip the thumb out of one of the vital gloves so that's one point against them another thing with the one size fits all I have a small hand and this glove is very snug so for me this is great for someone else, not so great. So guys or ladies that have hands larger than mine, I'm sorry, you may not want to buy those particular brand of gloves. So now let's look at the nitrile gloves. Again, the nitrile gloves are thin, but also stretchy. They give. So let's look at the size. These are bigger. They're more forgiving. They've got more room in them. After I actually tore one of the vinyl gloves, I switched over to the nitrile gloves and finished the load of dishes. So, 
to me that says that the nitro gloves are going to be better for doing things that require more scrubbing now that's not to say that these are not going to tear as well they are also very thin but these these did better in the the product gauntlet so by the time I finished that I decided that I was going to go ahead and clean the rest of the kitchen I switched back and forth between the two gloves and they seem to be doing pretty well compared to each other I did notice that when working with chemicals the nitrile gloves didn't hold up quite as well they seem to be uh, tacky I guess is the best word for it a little bit sticky as if the uh, the nitrile had actually been a little bit compromised that's actually not unusual to see in these gloves I can say that certain chemicals in my experience do impact these gloves dramatically and that was something that I was going to explain a little bit later in the video but I'll go ahead and explain that now uh, acetone will melt nitrile um, I did not use any chemicals that contained acetone but it's possible that there are other cleaning chemicals that may cause a degradation of the nitrile itself so that's something to kind of be aware of um, but I didn't have to do any intense scrubbing so I didn't have any more gloves tear there when I moved on to cleaning the bathroom and doing the floors only time that I actually had a glove rip was when I was filling up a bucket wasn't paying attention and I caught the edge of the bucket handle with the glove and I ripped one of the fingers off of one of the nitro gloves but otherwise they seem to hold up pretty well uh, so I would have to say that comparing the two other than the sizes they seem to be pretty well in the same ballpark uh, but overall I would say that there's still a lot of room to improve the nitrile gloves I know come in larger millimeter thicknesses so you can use them for more heavy duty things mechanics use them uh, doctors offices use them they're used for all sorts of things you can get up to a 20 millimeter thickness in nitrile gloves you just have to look for them in hardware stores or automotive stores um, and typically that's what I personally do but I decided to go what was what was easily accessible for most people the vinyl gloves like I said they do great for certain things uh, for other things not so great not so great for scrubbing uh, but for chemical handling these are going to be a lot better uh, I do say that it wouldn't hurt for these to be a little bit longer because you you don't want to have to reach into a bucket and submerge your hand because these are very short uh, it would take very little for it to seep down into the glove so if you've got bleach water or something of that nature you might get a, a glove full of it and not even realize it until it's too late uh, so that's something that uh, can be easily repaired by the companies another thing that I think really needs to be uh, looked into is we need to have reusable alternatives you know as I said in the healthcare field you don't want reusable but in the home area it wouldn't hurt to have a glove set for the bathroom a glove set for the dishes a glove set for your car washing kit something that you can use over and over again that's also mildew resistant so that is something that I think could be improved upon in the future by the company whether it be clean ones mr. clean Playtex or some of the other companies that do make latex free alternative gloves so that is my review I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions or any feedback feel free to leave it here or leave it on my blog and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks guys have a good night